So this is how you get yourself bootstrapped to use Johnny 5 to control your bot. Here I have a fresh out of the box Arduino Uno. This is a clone from SaintSmart, which is nice because it has these extra three pin headers on all the pins, which makes wiring up the components really easy. I like some sort of visual feedback to know that everything is working once I'm done, so I'm going to use an LED. I'll just connect it up to pin 13. Now, you may have heard that pin 13 has a built-in resistor, so you can just plug in an LED bearer, but it turns out that this is old information, which has now become common misinformation. It used to be the case, but it isn't anymore. If you don't use a resistor, you risk burning out your LED, or worse, damaging your pin. So you can just take a resistor and twist it together with the smaller lead on the LED. And then plug the longer lead into pin 13 and the other end of the resistor into the ground pin right next to 13. Now we can plug the board into the USB cable. You'll know that you have your LED hooked up properly because it will blink when the board boots up. Now we need to get some firmware loaded on the board. We are aiming to use Johnny 5, which is a JavaScript library for controlling the board. But the JavaScript doesn't run on the board directly. It runs on a controller computer that sends commands back and forth over the serial um, USB cable. And the serial communication um, protocol is called Fermata. It is a generic protocol uh, that several post implementations have created for Ruby, Python, C Sharp, Java, and JavaScript, to name a few. In this case, Johnny5 is just one of those implementations of the host side of Fermata. Um, so, in order to load Fermata, we need to get the Arduino IDE software. And you can get that right from the Arduino website. Once you have downloaded and installed it, you can load Fermata out of the examples folder. We want to use the standard Fermata file. So click on upload and you're good to go. We can close out the Arduino ID and we won't be using it anymore. Since Johnny5 is a node package, you'll need to install Node and NPM. If you don't already have it, you can get it from nodejs.org and install it. Installation is really easy, and once you're complete, it will be available on the command line. So, open up a command prompt and create a folder for your bot code. Now you can install Johnny5 using npm. This will install Johnny5 onto your computer along with any dependencies that it needs. And now we just need to create our bot file, and we'll call it bot.js. Just to get things up and running, go to the Johnny5 website and copy the example script. This script just requires Johnny5, creates a board object, and then configures the LED once it's connected to the board. Johnny5 has abstractions for all sorts of common components. In this case, we can just tell it the, to uh, create an LED and strobe it. Go back to your command prompt and run this file. You should see that the LED is strobing. From here, you can do anything you want in Node.js. Take a look at the documentation for Johnny5. You can create a servo object, for example, and control the servo from JavaScript. Uh, listen to keyboard events and respond to them by controlling your hardware. Since you're in Node, there's nothing stopping you from creating a web server or a REST service for controlling your bot. Use an external device like a phone or a tablet to make REST calls to your controller. Possibilities are endless. Have fun.